For today's movie review, I'll be looking back at the 1980 Antonio Margheriti Italian cannibal horror film Cannibal Apocalypse, also known as Invasion of the Flesh Hunters and Cannibals in the Streets. The film opens with a flashback to the Vietnam War, where Norman Hopper, played by the late great John Saxon, is bitten by a US POW. And this POW just so happens to be infected with a virus that leaves people with a craving for human flesh. After seeing this film about three times at this point, I can see why Cannibal Apocalypse has a cult following. Not only does the film star John Saxon, but it also stars Italian cult film actor Giovanni Lombardo Adis, who's best known for his roles in films such as City of the Living Dead and Cannibal Ferox. Radice is playing it over the top along with the other POW, and then you add in John Saxon, he makes the film so much better than than it has any right to be. Plus, it's fucking John Saxon. He was such a badass. The gore and the practical effects were a lot better than I was expecting. Couple that with some well done action scenes and you've got yourself a pretty fun movie. However, that's not to say the film doesn't have any faults because it has quite a few issues that I can't overlook despite the film being fun. For one, I didn't really like the side story between the doctor and the wife of John Saxon's character. It felt like such a plot device, especially once we get near the end of the film. I also felt like adding in the neighbor kids to add in some suspense as well as a stinger ending. That also felt out of place, and I feel those aspects bogged the film down a little bit. I do find the concept of being infected with cannibalism but not being becoming a zombie, an interesting idea. And unlike other Italian cannibal films that take place in the jungle, this film only is in the jungle in a flashback, and the rest of the film takes place in Atlanta, Georgia, which sets up some really great action sequences, some fun stunt work, and some genuinely suspenseful scenes. I especially like the scene in the movie theater, which then leads a biker gang to chase after this cannibal, culminating in a shootout in this department store. It's one of the earlier scenes in the film, and it's one of the scenes that really got me hooked. Another great sequence in this film is the chase scene through the sewers. Yet again, fun action along with some really nasty gory scenes, as well as a few fire stunts. While Cannibal Apocalypse isn't my favorite Italian horror film, it's got a lot of issues, but it's also got a lot of things to like about it, which is why I give Cannibal Apocalypse an add to the collection. I highly recommend picking up the Kino Studio Classics on Blu-ray. It was released earlier this year and it's a brand new 4K restoration. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, check out my Patreon page. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for coming by and I'll see you guys on the next video. Put it down. God. What happened? How in the hell should I know?